This must be your first time here, yes? I have a good selection of quality weaponry in the catalog here. And anything you like, I can bring out for you. Okay, now let me see. Quality gun will save your life many times over. That is what I aim to provide. Uh. Take your time deciding. You've kept that weapon looking as nice as the day you bought it. Well done. How would you feel about a new stock on this one? I could make one for you. That's gonna be great.
you'll see an immediate improvement. Ah, you have kept it perfectly maintained. I love to see that. Are you interested in any rifling in this one? Give your bullets a nice twist rate. Now it's even better. Guns are beautiful machines, but if you want to use them, you might need some ammunition. You've kept that weapon looking as nice as the day you bought it. Well done. Look at the state of that weapon. It hurts me to see. Ah, you have kept that Perfectly maintained. I love to see that. I hear there was a big shootout with the Murphy gang in the caves. Bye now. Here. Yep, yep. Wait. Yep. I don't want you to work in that line no more. Come on, oh, there. Boy. Easy there. Are you paying us a visit, Morgan? Come over to the other side of camp, have you? Cross the Great Divide? Apparently well, so. At least you ain't run off. Good boys, Arthur. I rode with them a long time ago. 
Best thing that could have happened to us. What you talking about? Pearson left. Old uncle. The traitors. Both gone at dawn. They said to young Tilly they were running to save themselves. I think Mary Beth left as well. So it goes. They are. Let's pick up the pace. Train is due in San Denis in an hour. We're robbing a train in the middle of a city? No. It's going to stop there, take on mail and water, let off some boys. Head home on leave, and then it heads out. They know the bridge is gone, Black Lung. There'll be a patrol past Annisburg, waiting down by the river to collect the money. We sneak on quietly, and then we got a short time to stop the train before it reaches the patrol. John, you go get that dynamite. We'll meet back up outside of San Denis. I'll go with him. As you wish. Come on. It's this way. I hid the wagon down here after we blew the bridge. This is one big goddamn group of us to be riding back into San Denis. Yeah, I heard the Pinkertons have pretty much taken over Van Horn. Moved a whole heap of men in there. Things are closing in fast. Shit. Should be just through these trees. There it is. <laughs> I'll get the dynamite. No, I can do it. You sure? I'm fine. Okay, it's in the back. Get this done. No point in putting this off any longer. You think this is gonna work? Who knows? I don't trust nothing no more. <laughs> that mess in the oil factory? I swear he looked me in the eye and walked away. Like with me in the bank. But listen, Abigail just told me the money, it's hidden in the caves at Beaver Hollow. What? Yeah. So much for never hiding it near camp. Dutch was getting even sloppier than we thought. Okay, well, let's get through this job and make a plan. Get the money and get the hell out of here. You, Abigail, and Jack go live your life. And you? I reckon head out west, someplace dry. See if I can shake this goddamn cough. But first... We got one last train, John. One last train. to New York or Chicago and get a real boat from there out to the tropics. So long as it isn't Burma. Oh, it'll be paradise, son. It's all coming together, Dutch. Just like we planned. Is that okay with you, John? Arthur? 
Or do you insist on something different? Sounds about as good now as every time I heard it before. Oh, Abigail must be real excited. All packed up like she is. I could just see her in the little grass skirt. Don't talk to me, you son of a bitch. Boys, boys, okay now, let's keep it down. We don't want to draw attention to ourselves going through here. Nice and easy through town, fellas. Ah, uh, Saint-Denis. It's good to be back. Happy memories. Taja? Will you shut up, Maka? That's enough. Quiet. All of you. Not much further now. to the next carriage!
Mine's on fire! Come on! We can't get through the smoke! Come on! Let's go! Come on! Get going, Bill! Get back on! Jump! A couple of cares before it blows us all up! Lord. Sorry to hear that. We gotta let her go. John's, uh, well, sorry, son. Without John, she's just bait. We got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. But me and the boys know. 
Yep. We need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. You know it. Every man here knows so we it. we just gonna let the boy be made an orphan? It, it ain't like that. What is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice, Dutch. It's just a girl. You're right. Dutch, uh, Micah. Uh, it pains me to say it, Arthur. But he's right. Hutch! Come on, boys. Well, I guess that's that then. If they're putting her on a boat, they'll probably dock at the north end of town. So I reckon we should go in the other way. Sure, I guess. I don't know. God, those goddamn bastards. Look. Just follow me, okay? We're gonna get this done, Arthur. Ditch the horses and come up with a plan.
ladies. Let's get out of here. <laughs> You're losing your strength, Mr. Morgan. You're still a yapping dog, Mr. Milton. <laughs> Find the horses. We need to get the... Find the horses. We need to get the hell out of here. What happened to Jack? Where is he? He's fine. Tilly's got him. Oh, thank God. Abigail, you ride right mine. Get on, Arthur. Get on. You'll be okay.
Trust me. My pa used to say you stare into the fire long enough, you can see the whole world pass by. Get them bags packed up quick, Miss Grimshaw. Come on, all of you. Well, we're doing our best. Hurry, we ain't got long. Hurry. We just got plenty of time, Micah. Oh. We all need to have a little chat. Blacklong, you're back. Hooray. <coughs> I just saw Agent Milton Dutch. Abigail shot him. She's okay. Not that you care too much about that, you rats. All of you. Seems old Micah was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, cowpoke? You talked. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch. Think of the future. Milton told me. <laughs> and you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? It all makes sense now. No, it damn well doesn't. Dutch, think. Dutch, be practical now. Dutch! John? You left me. You left me to die. My boy, I didn't have a choice. John, I didn't... You! I didn't have a choice. Left me! All of you, you pick your side now because this is over. All oh, them years, Dutch, for this snake. <laughs> oh, be quiet, cowpoke. Be quiet. You live in the clouds. No, you be quiet, Mr. Bell, and put down your gun. There's Pinkerton's coming, fast! <laughs> Now! Who amongst you is with me? And who is betraying me? Well, I'm here. Think. Think for yourself. He's lying. He's lying. Put your guns down! God damn it! Move! You ready, John? Yeah. Everyone get them! Oh. It's a danger bomb with a Pinkerton detective agency! Put your guns down! Everyone with now! We have you surrounded! Let's go, Arthur! Push! I got just up ahead! 
someone kill this bastard? I was the rat, John. Milton told me. You should have killed him. Let's keep moving. Let's go, Arthur! Come on! Stop where you are and put your hands on the ground! We need to get out of here! There's no way out for you now! Come on! Ah. We gotta move! Ah. Keep moving, Arthur! We need to go! You go out first. I want them out of there now. Get more alive. Abigail. Abigail's safe. So's Jack. Where are they? It was Sadie. The Copperhead Land. Gotta go! Come on! Ride! Yeah. There's Pinkerton's up ahead in the tree! Yeah. There's an army of these sons of bitches! Stop right there and drop it! This way, fuck! Come on! That's him dealt with! Come on, Arthur! On the left, Arthur! They'll keep Dutch busy!
There's Pinkertons everywhere! We gotta move! on yourself, Dutch!
with your friend Marston. Let the money be. Sure. I figured that you and I had some unfinished business. After all he's done for you. You ain't no man. You weak fool. Greedy, did you, Black Lung? Oh, I knew you wanted the money as much as any of us. Sure. But I also wanted you, you rat dead. <laughs> Greedy snakes always get killed first. <laughs> oh, shit. Look what I got and done. Looks like you lost, Black Lung. I didn't lose. <laughs> that winning? I stopped you. And I told everyone you were right. That's winning enough for me. My <laughs> Oh, Arthur. You damn fools. I told you, Dutch. That he'd come back here to rob us, like I said he would. I came to take what's mine, you rat. I ain't no rat, Black you Lung. You are, my God. You're the rat. Now, Molly Dutch, it's him. Him! Kill him! Not Molly! Now Miss Grimshaw! Not even going. <laughs> You're dying, Black Lung. And you've gone crazy. Let him damn us all, Dutch. <laughs> Come on, Dutch. Gotta go. Dutch. Let's go. <laughs> I've never... Dutch! Well... I must say, Arthur... <laughs> it's been a lot of fun,
That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shooting. I'm sure he did, but I've been thinking... Making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. I gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should have just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. most to read, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. Boy? Sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a bad influence on your mother. With your books. Which books was that? You know, that dime novel of Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon, or whatever it was. Don't be reckless now. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pa. Is that what you like, then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore. I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What's his name? Don't you abandon your family, John Marston. Strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. Been a long time. I think I was saying there's King Arthur, and there's Sir Lancelot, and the Lady Guinevere. Why don't you pull up just here? Now, I was saying something. I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but... Doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? I well, found some work. You loaded up pretty good, Milton. Good. Now you ride slow now. Eddie's still wanting good damage. Of course. West past Owen Sheila, then follow the road north. Okay.
Owen Jill. We go past it and north. Now we go north. That didn't sound good. That didn't sound good. Now we go north. This must be it. I guess I ain't much of a delivery boy. Whoa! Can I help you there? You Mr. Getty? You can use that horse. And don't get yourself hurt. Or hurt them for that matter. There, there. Easy. That's my damn wagon! Getting out of that wagon one way or another. Whoa, whoa! All you had to do was ask. Like us. All we're asking is Mr. Gaddy's takes, Mr. Abel's Thank you. Milton. Morning. Damn thing. Milton, get over here.
Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in the wagon up there? Ah, oh, I believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? That, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we, uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no, sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton. How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. I was going to milk the cows. Come on, I'll do it. You? Hey, are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was, uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one, at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Oh. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Well, you know, up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything, the ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. See, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? Oh, good lord, no. Nothing like that. Oh. Just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Here's the cows. terrible Whew. it's easy right almost got a pail full hey pa is that your boy sure hey lancelot well hey lancelot hey we're gonna make a dairy maid of your pa yet <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all gotta earn our keep. That's enough, Jim. Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on, son. How old are you now, Lancelot? Twelve, sir. Ain't that grand. It's such a fine name. I like it. I got... I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's gotta be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. Coming. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. Ugh. 
Look out. Gunslinging to shit shoveling. Great. That stinks. John Marston, the terror of the turds. Reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. Hey, Milton, can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. <laughs> can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to sh... Pound it in there, we don't want it coming down. Okay, again. Good, now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Now, lift up the other side. They gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. Good. Okay. Doing all right. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. down and get over here, boy. Quick as you can. Come on, son. Milton, get over here. Coming. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make them mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Hey, Angus is your bull. boss's son. Nice to meet you. Let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Uh, come on! Move! Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Uh, oh, shit! I'll get him! Just keep on oh. the Hello, buddy. No. Bad ball! Damn it. Not the fence! Look 
thing down you don't look like you're gonna wind down <laughs> but I'll try Chuck, relax, my friend. This way. Got him, Mr. Dickens? Oh, good. Abe, yes, where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't write. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. And since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all, huh? Maybe I could have handled them. <laughs> of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. So, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh... Okay, then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get two. Thanks, kid. You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. Whoa. <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, I Settle do. Settle down, okay? Pretty big one. <laughs> hey, Jeremiah. now. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh, calm down. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. I'm gonna take him out first. Burn some of this heat off of him. I'll be in the corral, Ben. Hey, fella. <laughs> Yeah, boy. Yeah, Jeremiah. Huh. 
way. Come on! Let it all out of you! Let's get a lather up! All right, good boy. You ain't gonna give us no trouble now. All right, he's ready for you. Okay. Get on up there and go nice and slow. Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. My heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse? You ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh? Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa, and he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well... They'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... But... Just worry about the horse. Yeah? Yes, sir. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. You Mr. Milton? I thought you were going to help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Thanks, Jim. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Hey, John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. For him. 
How's he been? He's been kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Round to the left. What do you see? The pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Are you coming too? Are you joining me, Pa? Let's go. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding, aside from home? I don't know. But maybe that stream? Good idea. Now, you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. Whoa. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding, aside from home? I don't know. But maybe that stream? Good idea. Now you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... You know, this ain't so bad, sir. Good. Amazing what the right horse and a little confidence can do. How do I look? Better than before. Keep at it. I'm getting there. I should hope so.
Okay. Let's go across to the stream. Yes, sir. you get back you think you're ready for a little race I guess all right we go back to the path and up to the ranch okay on my go go Son, you won. This time. Whoa. You know, boy, you look just fine nailed up on that wall. Because this is private property. Mr. Gettys don't like trespassers. What's that, sir? Yes. You hear that? He don't like trespassers. <laughs> That's what I said. Well, does he like? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I'll kick his hat in, Bob! Mr. Milton! Uh, yeah? When was the last time you had a bath? Oh, heck. Knock his goddamn brains out! <laughs> Get his spins on women. Saves on hands. Uh, oh, he's uh, licking you, boss! Uh, <laughs> boss! Boss! You need help? Uh, that boy can punch! He hit me first. We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. hear any of it not in front of the men you toad all right smile smile do not embarrass me mr gettys hey i heard we had another incident with the uh, laramie boys yeah there was an incident well, i mean to scare me Two of them by the stalls. They got Tom. Get the cattle out of here. Take him back to hanging dog. Now, nobody's got to get hurt. But we'll be more than happy to hurt any of you at once. You got that boy? Sir, I got it. <laughs> Who's this? New hand. Oh, you're that tough guy they just took on. Yeah, I heard about you. Jim? Dumb Hicks brought this on your sails. That one. You up against real guns. You put him down, all right. 
They've killed Mr. Tolbert, and they've stolen my goddamn cat. I'll lead the way. This is gonna be the last we hear. Here. We'll be better on foot. Okay. That's the place up ahead. There's a cow. Hey! this. You boys take cattle. See you back there, son. Where are you, big fella? Shit shoveling, backwoods, shaka, no good, trash. Got more of those. That woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's got to make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she bathes first. <laughs>
Milton. This man can really fight. Save the whole place. Ah. Uh, <laughs> that weren't nothing. Well... You! Getting on. Surviving. I think. Here. I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is. Well... Come on. Yeah. You take care now. Of course. It's nice getting out of the house, huh? Go back to the road, Pa. I like being in the house, Pa. I ain't just about doing things you like, boy. What happened the other night? With those men, did you kill them? 
I did what I had to do. To protect you. Ma said it was pride or something. Your ma was wrong about that. Oh, it's real bumpy here. Come on, get! You take care now. Of course. It's nice getting out of the house, huh? I like being in the house, Pa. I'm being rattled around, Pa. Life ain't just about doing things you like, boy. What happened the other night? With those men, did you kill them? I did what I had to do. To protect you. Ma said it was pride or something? Your ma was wrong about that. I don't think I like going this Here. fast. You want to take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. Uh, <laughs> it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w what do I do? Well, just hold them and pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster. Give them a little switch. And then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here. Try it out. enough for now back in strawberry hey kid looks like you know i think this is the longest i've seen you without a book in your hand it was foolish to forget mine sir look i got some business to attend to with the clerk i leave you with the wagon can i trust you not to drive off with it oh i think i can be trusted to that very good Here we are. You all right, son? Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave, you I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. Hi. I'm here to... Name? M my name? Uh, Jim? Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> Hope so, at least. Here, you take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Huh. Yep. Well. We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here, and we're just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. 
Turns out, uh, I missed the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store or the saloon or anywhere? We're going back. Okay, boy? But I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus. Mind your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. Look, if I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving. driving across here it's the same as any other road look where you want to go and the horse will follow okay yep i think the horse is getting skittish you'll be all right huh what nothing just keep driving Look around. Oh, Pog, hey. those men, are they following us? Just, just stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now! Uh, come on, quick, down! Okay, son, you wait here. You don't move. Or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Morrison? You sure look like him. What with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Morrison? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? Just kill him! Right here. Oh. Oh. 
It's okay. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. Come on. Get up. Oh, dear. Those men. I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now, compose yourself. You killed them, Pa. Son, I need you to hold it together. This is fast. us to buy some old ranch. The same for wagons. You read to her about it, didn't you? Mm -hmm. What was it called? Mm -hmm. What was the name, boy? Beecher's Hope. That's right. Beecher's Hope. Over by Blackwater. You like the idea of that, huh? Us on the ranch? I don't know. I can see you as a rancher's boy. Like Duncan Gettys, huh? I wasn't so sure, but... <laughs> yeah. That kind of life might suit us. Wouldn't be such a chore if the horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Mm. Okay, here we are. That was an... Uh, eventful trip. Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey. What do you think he wants? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes, here. Abigail.
more. Out of the way! Waste of my Excuse Come on, me, sir. Can Watch I, out. Can I help you? Can I help you? Okay, Missy. Watch it! I thought you was tough, girl. you friend I hope so who's in charge here no one mister this is a free country <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about listen I'm buying this land I'm afraid Afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. <coughs> Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Get the hell out of here. This land belongs to me now. Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner. Looks like you made your decision then, partner! you the man with two names and no past come on in how'd you make out well let's just say there are no more squatters okay well I got your paperwork ready now you sure about buying
You gonna mount up or what? Follow me. Concern, but I was in the bank borrowing the money. That's even worse. You can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh, her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we gonna farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the till. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so... You think I'm an idiot? No. <laughs> I know you're an idiot. Come on, then. <laughs> Slow now.
right, girl. Head up. Yourself. Watch your step. Happy to assist you in a moment. Traveling mercies to you. Be with you momentarily. I'll be tending to you shortly. Farewell on your travels.
few cents. <laughs>